Hey what's up guys, Controller Mods here today and today I'm showing you how to take apart your Xbox 360 controller basically disassemble it for anything um, you wish to do to it so first thing you'll need is a Torx 8 uh, tamper proof security hold screwdriver the next thing you'll need um, let's see if I have it yep is a very small Phillips screwdriver and you're also going to need your hands obviously uh, so what you want to do is take a battery pack off off the back as you can see I like my chrome thumb uh, triggers there um, you want to take your um, Torx 8 and you want to take off all of these screws off the back I'll show you where they are after I take off this one okay so all the screws are he ones right here the other one, uh, one is right, right in there. The other one's right in there. The one is under the barcode, uh, under the battery pack. The one is right here in the middle of the controller, and the other one is right here at the end of the controller. So you want to take out all of those. So when you're done taking apart your, I took all the screws out. Uh, when you're done taking them apart that you want to um, gather up your seven screws and put them somewhere where you won't lose them and and basically um, after doing this um, kinda want to uh, turn, it off, uh, turn it over you want to just pull up on the back case or use your fingers and get in between the uh, in between the seam right here in here and then you kind of just want to pull up and you'll see this on the back not with these wires um, and you kind of want to push on your thumbsticks like in push in and the things just pop out and there's that and I don't know if you're going to do something to the motherboard or you're going to change the buttons out whatever you want to do um, but this top piece the, with the bumpers it just uh, slides off off these two little holes just the second one um, kind of got a little hard so I'll have to get that off soon actually it's a little hard getting it off right now but what you do is um, just take these off this one be careful because it's a little stuck on the end on that little uh, hole and you know you can flip it over take all the buttons out this piece might be hard getting out that's the piece that goes in the middle of here uh, middle of the home button all you have to do is push it through with your finger and it should just pop right out um, and then you know everybody's probably saying like oh how do you get the uh, d-pad out alright so I got the bumper off now the d-pad or sorry here's the bottom the bottom piece to it all you have to do is just pull up and it pops off the d-pad what you want to do is take your uh, Phillips very very small Go in, unscrew them both. Screw them both like I just did. And uh, take your screwdriver, go under this little tab, and kind of just pop up and it should just come right out. And uh, this is your side of your D-pad. And then here is the controller fully, um, fully taken apart everything's put on it. You can keep that somewhere safe where you know you won't lose it. Um, and for me, I put labels on everything so I know whose is whose because um, I get a lot of orders in at, uh, a lot of times. So I just keep everything and label everything. I usually, I usually take all this stuff right here and just put it all into a bag and I'll take this and put it into like a box with a sticky note on it that says what I have. Uh, whose it is and I usually put a little name on this too but I uh, sure it is um, thanks for watching guys please write comment subscribe see you guys around um, check out my website controllermods.com it's just the way it is here just with the dot com um, so yeah thanks for watching peace